Welcome back to Silent Hill Downpour. Before I actually get into the game, I want to cover something that I've done. So it turns out that I was running the original version of the game, and there actually has been one patch released for it. And this is the changelog. Improved frame rate, fixed save game system, fixed bugs in homeless side quest slash mission, and several other performance enhancements slash bug fixes. So perhaps my save game weirdness is not because of the emulator, given this fixed save game system. <laughs> you know, the save game system is pretty important. It's kind of funny that they just said like, yeah, it was broken before we fixed it. But maybe that will fix the weird out of order saves. And there's lots of stuff here for improved frame rate and performance enhancements and stuff like that. So perhaps my poor performance is not entirely or is only partially because of the emulator. Maybe this will help some of those problems. Oh, and also in addition to installing this patch, I also uploaded my version of our PCS3, the emulator that I'm using. So that could also improve some things as well. All right, let's jump into it. So in the last episode, we found the first part of the Boogeyman Rhyme that we need to continue in the monastery. And I don't remember how many parts there are, but there's at least a couple more. So we've got the first one. I guess we're going to get the second one pretty soon. We just came in from the outside from over there. So all of this in here is totally new. Oh, one quick thing I want to mention too is because I've updated RPCS 3, the emulator, um, the compiling shaders thing is now going to pop up more often than it did before. Because every time you update the emulator, it has to recompile all the shaders on the fly. So you'll probably see that popping up a little bit more often for a while. Looks like a little girl's dress. Pistol bullets, nice. How much ammo do I have again? I thought I was doing pretty well. Yeah. 25 pistol rounds, 10 shotgun shells. Hmm. I just had a horrible thought. Remember when I dropped the pistol because I had to choose between either the shotgun or the pistol? Did it take the ammo out of the pistol? Or did it just leave it there on the ground to go to waste? Huh. I wonder if you can unload the pistol. I'll have to try that next time I drop a gun. Well, actually, I could just test it right here. Right? No, you can you can only equip it. There's no option to unload it. Well, I hope it's generous with the ammo. Trophy silence is golden. Is that from overcoming like a certain number of those like screaming attacks? Oh yeah, when I updated the emulator, it also reset my game settings because I copied over the save games, but apparently not the config. I think I configured everything the same, though. There's very little to configure. Just, like, turn on subtitles, turn on object highlighting, turn up brightness a little bit. That's pretty much it. What is this stinking pile of... clothes? Flies around clothes. What's in them, or on them? Don't want to go there just yet. Actually, I do. Fun in the sun. 
Thank you. Lots of, like... Well, not lots of, but some... Kid... Kids' drawings, looks like. Or maybe they're an adult and they just have the drawing skills of me. <laughs> then it would look like a kid's drawing. What is this? Oh, it's a weapon. I thought I was picking up that book or something. God, I want to leave the light like this. Because I can see so much better, usually. But what if there's something hidden? Right, so I just went in there, so time to go down here. Another stinking pile of clothes. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was shotgun ammo. It's a freaking brick. Damn you for being a red rectangle. I'm not even sure the shotgun ammo is red. I feel like it is. Oh, this isn't good. Radio's going off. There's definitely something in there. Hmm. There's also a mirror. Seems fine. God, I don't want to look at myself in the mirror. Something's going to happen in the mirror, isn't it? No. I don't want to stick. Don't see anything special. Whoa. Ah. Hmm. You won't find yourself, Ma, until you face the truth. That looked like a boss. I wonder if they're teasing a boss. Okay, that's not a brick, but it is also a mostly red rectangle. There's an enemy down there. Wait, what are you? Oh! Normal enemy, but you're doing something special. What are you doing? I heard like electric noises. What's going on? I don't like this. Can't hear you behind a wall. Explore all this, by the way. Oh, I haven't gone upstairs yet. Hmm. Oh, 
itsy bitsy spider Run up the spout again Not gonna hurt you It's not even locked. Well, I guess I'll go follow the creepy giggling kid soon. Hmm. So there's like a a metaphorical lock on it, drawn on it in chalk, but it's, it is actually locked. <laughs> Silent Hill artifact. An extras menu. This smells terrible. <laughs> I think I looked for the extras menu a while ago and I never found it. Where is it? Yeah, don't actually know where the extras menu is. Maybe it's some like PlayStation 3 thing, like a special menu. Voice that just whispered in the background sort of sound like it hissed mommy. Like mommy. Right, those are all closed. Let's follow the little kid. <laughs> I could just go through the chair. I feel like I should pick it up because it's special, right? The kid was sitting in it, but nah, it's a terrible weapon. Oh, fuck. There's something in here. I think it's a doll. Yep. Mmm. Fuck, that's so creepy. Just... There in the dark. Fuck, there's another one. Is it dead dead? Can't seem to... Oh, well, my weapon's dead. Ah, oh, there we go. dark. Maybe the lighter would be good here. Kinda. I guess. I thought that was a hole in the floor. Happy Father's Day. Probably from Charlie, our son. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the kid's giving him... I don't even know what that is, but it looks like they were working on the car. Because we know that they're into cars, right? I don't remember how we know that. I know they recognized the truck right outside before we even got to Devil's Pit. There's something else, though, that made me think that they were into cars. They said they could hotwire a car when they were speaking to the DJ. Reminds me of my own boy. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I need a weapon. I need to heal. Heal. Can you follow me? No? Maybe just lost track of me? I don't know. I could use a gun. I don't want to use that. Unless I really have to, and I don't need to use it against one of those things. Let's just grab a chair. 
Wait, was there another thing around here? I don't know, there's probably a pipe a little bit back there, but screw it. God damn it. I think it was scripted for that thing to show up when I, uh, picked up that picture. I keep trying to see if I can open these drawers. I can't, but you can open some drawers. Just not these. going this way. Please give me something other than a stick. Oh. I don't have any keys, do I? I don't think so. Well, I got the second floor key, but I'm sure that isn't it. I mean, it... Yeah, it, it would prompt me to use an item for my inventory. Okay, let's head back downstairs. Okay, back downstairs where that monster was scraping against the wall here, and I got a guardrail post. It's basically just another stick, but it's thicker. Wait, what's this? Is that metal? No, that's just a board with nails in it. So yeah, it sounded like sort of electric. Like, is there something going on with this wall? Or this hallway? The lighting's definitely a little bit messed up, probably because of the emulator. Like, this shouldn't be this dark. Dear Mommy and Daddy, please can I come home. It is bad at this place and I don't like it. The... The people are mean to me. They hurt me and the... Medicine makes me feel sick all the time. I'm scared. Please come get me. Love. Crossed out. Notice all staff. In the future, all correspondence for patients, blah blah blah, whether ingoing or outgoing, is to be filtered through my office for my personal review. No exceptions. Roberta... Blotch. Bloke. Blotch. Bloosh. Okay, that's creepy. This is not a good place. Not surprisingly. It's not like I was thinking before this, hey, you know, this place is alright. Oh, this is to pick up the chair, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, heck yeah. I love this thing, although it turns out it's super, super weak. Oh, hey. Is this a reference? I feel like this might be sort of a reference to uh, the director's office at the Alcamilla Hospital in the original Silent Hill. Yeah, because this office, like the layout of it looks about the same sort of, and I remember behind the desk there was a broken vial of that red stuff, I forgot what it was called, that weird anti-demon drug thing. So 
looks like it, except it's a hand. <laughs> That's more like it. Oh. Right. Uh. I don't want two guns. Finally, a place that's well lit. Sounds like there's a fire behind the curtain. Do you hear that? I love how this looks. This theater in shambles. All the seats just fallen over. Broken and out of place. The curtain looks surprisingly really good, though. Makes me think it's gonna open at some point. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> I feel like this is the end of the line. I'm not sure if there's anywhere else I can go, and going in here didn't help me. Is there something I'm missing? Might have found what I was missing. So, with the UV light on this board, I just looked around here before, I think, and didn't see it. But if you look above the board, truth is like the sun. I think I just need to like find lights and try to look at them with a the UV light, try to use them if they're usable. This still isn't going to do anything, right? No. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I think there's a ladder I can get down in the theater that I missed. That is so easy to miss, my god. Is there anything written around that light? Is that the sun? Nope. Ooh. That's a good weapon. This weapon's fun, though. Even if it's gonna break in the next encounter. Okay, this is probably the sun thing, right? Theater lights? Let's leave that off, I suppose. What's that? I have no clue what this is. It looks like a metal sheet and like a hammer for what, banging it? Is it for making banging noises? What's this roller thing? This is a rain machine? I have the faintest clue how that works. I guess these are raising lower the backdrops. Oh. So maybe I need to turn off the lights and like do this in the right order? To like reenact the play or whatever? sounded like it did something. Is this banging, like, is that to make the sound of thunder? Is that what that is? And then this, 
I didn't really listen to what it sounded like. Did that sound like rain? I guess? It seems awfully quiet, but... Yeah, so maybe this isn't actually, like, to make water come down or anything like that. It's just to make the noises of rain? Perhaps? This is probably the instructions, huh? Yes, it is. Hansel and Gretel. Act 1. The stage is set. The lights dim and a haunting melody begins to play. We are transported to the classic tale by the Brothers Grimm. Lights on center stage, the curtain opens. Hansel. OS. The way home has vanished. We see the children are in a dark forest with unknown dangers lurking around every turn. The children enter. Gretel. Oh, Hansel, the crows have eaten our bread. Hansel, worry not. I will watch over you. They come to a strange house. They mean to stay away, but it begins to rain as thunder booms and the storm worsens. They creep closer to find the house is made out of goodies. Okay, so everything that is in caps, I think, is things I need to do. Light stim. Melody plays. So... This turns off the lights. Melody plays. Hmm? <laughs> Is that the melody? Uh, am I missing a record? It doesn't have a record, does it? Uh, shit. Does that mean I can't do this yet? Uh, let's mess around with this other stuff. Hmm. Most of them are blacked out. Except for music and spotlight. Oh, I can't... Oh, I can't use them. These aren't buttons. They're just lights to show you which ones are... on? Or something? Huh. These lights probably cue the stage technician. Oh, so it just tells you what to do next. Yeah, that's the stage backdrops. I'm gonna try turning out the lights and using that. Any truth we can get? No? need a record. Oh, wait, there's a door up here. Oh, it's missing a lever. That helps too. There we go. back into place. I need a prompt, don't I? Can't just use it from here, no. Hmm. Oh, is this whole thing for set one? I think it is. Yeah, so this is set two. Or, no, not that. This. Old gramophone record, slightly scratched. Okay, now we got this. Lights go out, melody plays.
Lights on center stage, the curtain opens. Oh, that's creepy. Who's watching? Dark Forest. Is that number one or number two? I guess set number one, probably? Yeah. They come to a strange house. So that'll be the next set. Do I have to undo this set? I can't, so I guess it'll automatically switch out the other or something. No, oh, it just goes in front of it. <laughs> Someone's enjoying the show. Maybe I'll get to meet my adoring fan after. Dark forest, or uh, strange house, rain, thunder. Hmm, rain, thunder, and then it almost sounds like I need to do rain again or something. But yeah, rain and then thunder, and then maybe rain again. Oh, that is cool. That's... that's not good. That, that is so fucking cool. I just reenacted a play and then it became real. That is so fucking cool. This game has some amazing set pieces. 